today uh, I want to talk about the importance of the center line. Uh, many different people in the many different Wing Chun got uh, different ideas of what a center line is. Uh, in practical Wing Chun we have five different center lines. But today uh, what I really want to focus on is the first center line. It's the most uh, well known and uh, probably the most misunderstood of all of them. Um, it's probably very important to know how our body works because um, if you think about what we are, we are basically uh, chimpanzee, we come from the... Uh, if you think about back then in the past, we were proud, yeah, we were working with our hands, we were in this kind of position. If you see any animal, they walk on four legs, so all their points, you know, the weak points are protected. But uh, one thing happened to us is uh, evolution, so we passed into this position, so now all our weakest points get exposed. Yeah? So if you can see, this is the center of gravity, all the weakest points are all pretty much around the center. Yeah? So this is uh, one of the areas that uh, when you fight, you want to go and hit. So basically, passing from four limbs to two limbs, uh, our mobility changed. Yeah, we gain a lot on what we can do with two legs and what we can do with the other two limbs, we can use it to make fins. But the point is that uh, we lost a lot of power in these two limbs now because they don't have to support our weight anymore. And the other thing is that every time we have to gain, to look for our balance at any given time, any time we step or we walk or we do anything, we always to look for balance because we can just stand on two legs. Basically, if you come here and you see that this position, now, if you trace a line, between his heels. This is what we call the strong line yeah, in the position, what can be called the young part. So if I put any pressure to him, now you can see that the pressure is actually going down to the leg, so it's supporting the power. But if you trace now a line that was 90 degree to it, this is his bigger point because there's nothing to support it. Yeah. If now it stays actually in this position, yeah. now if I give you power forward or if I give you power to the side, it still can take it, it's still on the power line. But if you go again 90 degrees to it, now you have to withdraw. There's nothing you can do about that. You have to adjust this position again. Now, as we say, the center line defines many different things. The first, well, he defines the left and the right gate, yeah? So what is the left side and the right side of my body? Yeah, this is very important to know. The second thing it defines is the frontal alignment, yeah? Many people when they fight or something, they stay in the same position, keep ducking, yeah? They keep ducking. So they keep moving out of the center, yeah? All the time. Now, now we shouldn't. We don't want to duck. If I'm in this position, Instead of when the punch comes, instead of dugging and staying in the same position, for him it's very easy to chase me, yeah? because he will punch very fast. I will instead move out, so for him now, I'm out of his shooting, and I'm exactly on his center of gravity. Another very important thing to know is that many wind tunes want to hit, keep hitting the center line, on a straight, yeah, they keep going in, they just go in and keep doing chain punches on it. Now, I'm not saying that we don't want to hit the center, but there's many different ways to hit the center. If I hit him in this way, I might be able to hit him on the throat, and, yeah? I might be able to break his nose on the state. The point is that he won't get knocked down if I hit straight away. To get knocked down, his head, have to do this tilt, so you have to tilt in this way or either in this way to get crumped down. That's the only way. So if I come, I can hit him of course in this way, but we won't get knocked out. You will feel the pain. I can hit him in this way to cause him to do the tilt and get knocked out. So uh, we can hit the center from many different angles. Doesn't matter from where we are. If we are from this way, we don't have to go in this way. We can keep going on this way. So that's the importance to understand the diagonal lines as the straight lines. Another very important thing to know 
is that many of the Winchin stars, what they do, they want to move out of the center, yeah, in this way, while they keep their feet there. Now, for us, this is not very good because if I give him the bridge, now when I move out, he can still chase me as before. But what I want to do instead, I want to move him away, yeah, maintaining my 50 50. So the center line as well. It was the fine. If I turn my, my wave, I cannot get to one side. Otherwise, you see now there's 70% of my body that is on this right part and the left part is completely out. What I want to do when I turn, I want to be 50 50. So I'm able to be balanced 50 50, like in many uh, fighting styles like boxing or Muay Thai or whatever. Yeah? So, what I want to do. When I'm going to hit, many style what they do, they hit in the center and they turn. But if you see now, if I come back with my body, I'm not controlling the center. What I want to do, I want to hit and then turn. Now if I come back, I'm exactly in the center line. That is what I do when I fight. If you, fight, if you punch and I go here, now it still can hit me. Then I have to move out my body, but it still can find me here. What I want to do, I want to move him up. I hit and turn on the 45. So when it comes, I'm already controlling what? The second hand. So from here, I can keep hitting and go into the diagonal lines. That is why it's so important to understand the center line because allow me also to go to look for the second hand and control it. Okay, so this was just a small concept principle uh, in the style. So if you like our videos, uh, please subscribe us or follow us and uh, in the future we'll come up with some more. If you have any uh, uh, subject you want to talk about, just write to us and we'll try to, uh, to help you out. Thank you.